Hello everyone and thank you for watching and your idea world videos. In this lecture, we will continue to talk about credit management in SAP ERP system. In our previous lecture, we learned how to define a credit control area. And we assigned the credit control area to a company code and sales area. In this lecture, we'll move to the next step of customization credit management. This next step is defining the permitted credit control area for a company code. In SAP, a credit control area can have multiple company codes, but a company code can have only one default credit control area. If you ever come across a situation where the business requirement demands use of alternate credit control area instead of using the default credit control area assigned to the company code, you can configure an alternate credit control area using permitted credit control area for a company code. You can reach the customization screen by following menu pass in transaction SPRO. Press on SAP Reference IMG. Go to Financial Accounting. Accounts Receivable and Accounts Payable. Credit Management. Credit control account, assign permitted credit control areas to company code. As usual, use new entries button to maintain the customization entry and maintain all the alternatives that you want to permit for a company code. Or you can use copy as reference and define your permitted credit control area, TSTS. Press enter. And press save button. Once these settings are done, you can use your alternate credit control area in the transactions by manually replacing the default SAP proposed credit control area with your permitted alternative credit control area. If you want to default this alternative credit control area for a specific customer, you can assign this on the billing tab of the sales area data of the customer master as a default credit control area for that customer. Now go back to SAP Easy Access screen. So we have successfully defined a permitted credit control area for a company code. Now we can move to the next step in customization of credit management. Defining risk categories. Risk categories help you group the customers based on their credit ratings. You can define separate controls for each risk category to monitor, evaluate and control the credit situations and credit allocations. You define a risk category by following menu pass in transaction SPRO. Click on SAP Reference IMG. Go to Financial Accounting. Accounts Receivable and Accounts Payable. 
credit management, credit control account, and click on define risk categories. To define your own risk categories, you just need to click on the New Entries button and maintain up to three character identifier for the risk category with a meaningful description and then assign the identifier to the appropriate credit control area. Click on Copy as a Reference. Risk Category. 001 and credit control area TSDS. TS. Press enter. And do the same to few more risk categories. 002. And one more zero zero three. Now you can go get go back to the SCP easy access menu. After you define risk category, you can move to the next step, defining credit groups. A credit group represents the business transaction where the credit check can be applied. You can reach this customization screen by following menu path in transaction SPRO as usual. Go to transaction SPRO, press enter. Click on SCP Reference IMG. Go to Sales and Distribution. Click on Basic Functions. Credit management, risk management, credit management, define credit groups. As you can see, the available credit groups cover all three vital steps in sales order processing. It is not very common that you have to define a new credit group for your credit management settings, but if the need arises, you can define one by clicking the entry button on the customization screen, or copy as a reference, as usual. We will try copy as a reference. Provide two digit code and press enter. After that, press save button. And go back to the SAP EZX screen. Now we can move to the next step, assigning credit groups to sales documents and delivery documents. In this step, you assign all the sales order and delivery document types 
that you would like to include in credit checks to their respective credit groups. To perform the assignments, you must go to transaction SPRO, click on SAP reference IMG, click on sales and distribution, basic functions, credit management, risk management, credit management, assign sales documents and delivery documents. After you follow the menu, you will see a Choose Activity dialog box, providing two options. Credit Limit Check for Order Types and Credit Limit Check for Delivery Types. Click on Credit Limit Check for Order Types. Here you assign the sales document to the respective credit group. The assignment process is very simple. You just need to assign the sales document types to the respective uh, credit groups. For example, sales document type QT quotation. Or maybe it, it's a bad example. You can use promotion order for sales document type AA promotion order. We can choose our credit group 03. Another field visible here is check credit. This field controls whether the system runs credit checks during sales order processing and if yes, whether it will be a simple credit check or an automatic credit check. We will discuss the selection value for this field later in this lecture, along with how to set up simple and automatic credit checks. Now we can leave this field blank as no credit limit check and press save button. Go back and now choose second option, credit limit check for delivery types. This activity allows you to set up the credit groups for delivery documents. It's customization screen for this assignment activity. Here again, you just need to assign the delivery document types to their respective credit groups. For example, delivery, delivery, we can check credit group 401 and delivery credit group with without changes like 02, credit group for delivery. And after that, press save button. Data was saved. Go back to the SAP Easy Access screen. Now we can move to the next step in customization of credit management in SAP ERP system. Determining active receivables per item category. In this step, 
you set up the item category relevancy for credit checks. This setting helps calculate the net order value that is relevant for the credit check. So in the case of an order with four line items each, if three line items are set up as relevant for a credit check based on their item categories, credit check relevancy setup, SAP considers only three as the net credit value for calculating the credit exposure for the sales order and excludes line number four, which is not relevant for the credit check. To reach the customization screen, you can follow as usual IMG pass in SPRO transaction. Click on SAP Reference IMG. Go to Sales and Distribution. Basic functions. Credit management. Risk management. Credit management, risk management settings, and click on Determine active receivables per item category. Here we see the customization screen for setting up item category relevancy for credit checks. To make the assignment, you need to select the box for all the required item categories that you want to make eligible for credit checks. For example, we can check few item categories. So we have selected our item categories and activate credit check for these item categories. After that, press save button. Always remember that credit checks in SAP are performed against a payer partner after accumulating all the necessary financial figures and all the open order, open delivery and open billing documents. When you create an order document, all the credit relevant line items from the order are summed up to calculate the total sales order credit value. SAP then searches the credit existing exposure for the payer account from the sales order by looking into the credit master data record for the payer and adds the credit value from the sales order to the existing credit exposure to calculate the total credit exposure value. This total exposure value is then compared against the total credit limit available to the payer and accordingly SAP blocks or approves the credit check on the sales order and updates the credit status at the document header level. Now go back to the SAP Easy Access screen. In our next lecture, we will talk about last step in customization of credit management, setting up credit checks. Thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos.